start new recording. Hey, and we are on 1.0. Perfect. Uh, so we still need to unlock Zack. Go, uh, fire and ice. They don't really have the ability to heal themselves, though. Oh, man, having to have a battery in order to actually... It, it seems to run properly, have a battery, out of Wilbur. Really kind of sucks. Uh, go. Let Let's try a dark, a dark run. Dark charges on enemies also explode at the end of turn. Deals twenty five percent more damage. Explodes at thirty five, so it would deal seventy damage. Or just apply extra charges. Ah, do 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 do. It's primarily both the shadow and dark comes with the. the mind and insane Could go dark and fire do you like a Straight up like dark flame build. Burn deals cold damage. Still gonna need you to do battery things, but so just one less charge. That's fine. We'll use the no because there's no point on that. shock charges because he's gonna end up doing some lightning stuff yeah, I don't think he needs full in that aspect
All right, so dark and fire. So Maluka, Cornelius. Uh, let's flip flop this around. Oh, dark on this hero expo explodes at 35. I misread that. Take that with her. She's not really going to have much in the line of fire stuff. Um, let me get out of here real quick. So we can have something like that. Actually, somebody needs that too. Somebody needs that, too. Uh, grab that. You've got that. Cancel. Confirm. Move you back there. Uh... Wilbur, you need to find the ability to get that. So we need three points. One. Two. Three. Nope, you can actually get one of those back. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You confirm. Cornelius. Um, we have a battery. We don't need that. Fire. That's fine. Dark. Extra dark charges. Extra shadow damage. Now, I, there's nothing stating that we can't put a scout up front. Oop, Maluka didn't use all of hers. Uh, okay, you've got both of those. Uh, 
All right. Uh, oops. I have been on the wrong screen for most of that. My bad, guys. It's okay. I was just literally just setting up. Um, and I can go over it again really quick. Hey, dude, you got to sit down. And spin this way. No, you don't want that? Okay. Hi. How are you? So I'm sitting here talking and nobody can see what I'm actually doing. Um, uh, so two more on Maluka. Does she have any... I'm pretty sure they have access to burn charges at minimum. Nope, one more. But that's a three cost. Excuse me. You have your toes. Quite, ugh. There we go. That's a better babby stream. We have our toes. Um, so regen that doesn't disappear. She's got a little bit extra in healing, a lot of dark. She's got a couple extra burn charges. We've got vitality that doesn't disappear. Um, on Wilbur, we're running just shy of full. Full speed, the extra energy, without going to the extra energy on a specific turn. Um, basically full fire. I mean, I could do this, and do the extra fire charges. That works. Um, and dark charges and dark damage, plus the healing on either side. So both Cornelius and Wilbur have the healing on either side. Cornelius is similar, full fire, full dark, healing on either side. And running close to full with full speed and a couple extra energy. I just I don't know who we want to use. Who would make sense? Because none of the warriors actually do fire or dark damage, really. Do we want to put a scout in? Sylvie starts with cold, right? Yeah, she starts with cold. Thul starts with primarily poison. Andron starts primarily marking and um, bleed. Gustav starts out full bard. Um, we could throw Otis in there. An extra healer? 
but running him as like full damage. That'd be a lot, a little bit of life. Or at least the scouts start with more life than that. Uh, we could go... Do, 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 do. Thorny. That's bleed. Primarily. Heiner's primarily defense. Magnus is primarily uh, turn order control. Hmm. How are you set up? Okay, you set up with very. We do this. Ugh, uh, crap, no, er, ant, no, stop, er. Uh, get rid of those. Come into here. What does that put your life at? 97. Which is the highest there. don't really need him doing any of that. Uh, so we've got essentially healing from Sanctify. We'd be running very little block if we were to use Otis as well. Nesglect would technically work as damage mitigation, but we need to get him super fast, which is already hard enough to do. Let's... I don't really want to use Heiner again. I don't want to use him two runs in a row. 
We could run a Magnus. I really want to get Zek unlocked here. Keys. Select the profane option to gain the jeweled key. So, and then blue portal, sewer outlet, and give him his key. Um. So there's the main road node in Act 1. Do 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 her warlord one the best let's go with blueberry I like the Enchanter. I kind of like the Warpaint end. Alright, I think we'll go this way. Bree being set up. Yes, you don't need that though. Somebody else already has it. Which means you can actually get more elsewhere. Your starting cards are all blunt, aren't they? Blunt, blunt. Pretty much, pretty much all blunt. charges could go burn charges and grab one of the weapons that actually deal burn damage I don't think that there's really a warrior weapon that deals dark or shadow damage. Um, so at least grab one in burn charges 
and yeah grab the 75 extra bucks all right as far as madness here Yes to the decadence, yes to the impending doom. Sure to the overcharged monsters and the random combats. And I really don't want to go up any higher because I'm still trying to unlock Zek. Let's hope the event is actually there for him. It all started on the princess's 16th. Okay. We, the, uh, where is it? Scorch field. Edge of the forest, forest ruins. Main road, All right? The main road? Yes, main road node in Act One. So we've got to go here. That's a path I normally don't take. That would be why. So I can still get to either the Moon Ritual or the Bandit Camp. In which I think I'd go Bandit Camp anyway. Well, is there anybody that would benefit from it? I don't really think so. Anyway. Yes. And, uh, yes. We're going to go all out on this one. Oh, now you show up for shop. Uh, I want the armor from the tree for Bree. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, grab that question mark. Need to make sure that they stay alive at least. Uh, da, 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 da. Play a skill draw card. He's going to be playing skills. Uh, play a book, draw a card. Grab the quill. Could technically slow her down a little bit to give her massive amounts of resistance.
It's an upgraded voodoo doll. Or it's an upgraded ragged doll. But it does increase her damage. It's not very often you see an accessory that increases damage. Uh, let's give her the brigand armor. Give Cornelius the Jade Ring. One more reroll. Ah, uh, Cornelius. Damage and charges plus two. really like to find some of her thorny things right off of the bat here. There's way better than that. Come on. Um, merchant badge, huh? I'll take uh, a little bit of cost reduction here. Let's grab pets before we have a problem. Uh, you grab Sharpie. Uh, grab... Hurry up. You can grab Flamey. to unlock pets here too. Uh, you grab Slimy. Okay. Cards. Three. You already have three spike shields. Now, do you have anything that applies dark? No. Um, just out of curiosity? Nope. Uh... Not really much that applies anything there either. Except for the exploit openings that use vision charges. Um, she's got two invigorating blows. Which upgrading them would be better. She has a battle shout. Does not have the stockades though. So grab a stockade. Grab one of each. Grab you. Grab the Torment of Thorns. And for right now, we can grab an unupgraded Thousand of Needles. Or Thousand Needles. Is there anything else we need with her? Taunt, maybe? Nope. Um. got the invigorating blows yeah 
you don't have anything for for bless energy only blood rages for right now fire damage none dark damage or shadow damage none okay Cornelius filter shadow damage so we want shadow dark and fire <clears throat> shadow and fire or shadow and burn um let me check this way actually go burn and dark none okay shadow and dark curse of agony dark futures because we can still be applying uh, nightmares the noxious eruptions but that equals from poison Pestilence. Grab. One of the dark futures. I mean, the Curse of Madness is still makes sense because it's still going to reduce the amount of damage they do to me, or we could go Curse of Vulnerability. Uh, let's grab a Curse of Vulnerability. Not really doing anything with poison and bleed, so Curse of Agony doesn't really make sense. Curse of Decay could, though. Or the Fragility with Bree. charge batteries uh, grab a tome of intellect actually Grimoire of Flames is just fireballs. That doesn't... Does not apply burn. 
Do I have... No, do not have access to it right off of the bat. Worth of the encyclopedia. Reoccurring nightmare. It's not... I think we're actually going to want cauterizes in the decks. All right, let's thin out their decks first. And we are probably not going to want to go volcano with this, with this party. Uh, ditch one of you. Ditch at least two of you. Can ditch one of you. I kind of like having the inner combustions, because then it can actually stack up his own fire charges on himself. And I don't mind him keeping the scrolls of intellect. So the Searing Touch is all about charges. And right now it only does five less than Flare. They ditch another Flare. It's just so expensive. Never use these. We don't want this at all. Get rid of one of you. Okay, Maluka. Dark. Dark Outbreak. The Profane might be useful for purging. Ooh, Unholy Storms. We have a battery, let's go one of each. That's a high damage card. Uh, 
Uh, he had the do, 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 do. yeah the dark future. Do you have one? No, you did not grab one. Grab a dark future. Grab the pestilence, you have a pestilence. Which means right now we can get rid of one of you. Uh, was a. Right, there's curse books. Okay, so I must not have access to the curse books as of right now. So we want a cheap curse of decay. Um, curse of elements. You didn't get one of those, did you? No. Was a curse of fragility, curse of vulnerability. And curse of decay. Curse of decay. Curse of Vulnerability. Oh, Zach would probably want the yellow. Like, what is the difference between the blue and the yellow? Like, they're exactly the same, except... With the yellow, you suffer four. Curse of Fragility. That was the other one. Which one did you grab? The level one. The, the one cost. It's probably for the best. Because Wilbur's going to be kind of limited on what he can do super early on. Uh, get rid of one of you. One of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of both, actually. Don't really need to get rid of anything else with you. Um, I need better healing stuff for Maluka. We want. Oh, first things first. She's going to be <sighs> Hold on a second. Uh level and traits. For every region, apply one dark to the highest HP. For every dark 
all heroes gain one. Which we get her regen charges will be a lot better. But either which way, if I go this way, I'd have to get rid of the vitalizes and go with like nothing but shield of warnings. Which is kind of a little disappointing. Because the right now with the perks the regen not going away. And the fact that we're going for a dark build. So we'll just have to deal with it going away. Gotta upgrade those. means I want at least one of you give me the zero cost innervate the healing reins that dispel fire on us or at least one of them um, uh, because of their other thing, we've still got the bad auguries. have nothing that way okay that and that just the bad auguries oh highest site application foresight Visions. The clairvoyances are actually against all enemy, uh, uh, all monsters, so. And this is only one cost, because I'm not necessarily worried about the insane. But at the same time, we have a battery. So the insane is literally just damage mitigation. Which as a healer is part of her job. Alright, um... Do that. Remove one of you. Remove one of you. Okay. Only applies one. She doesn't suffer any. And dispels. Okay. So 
So we are going to want to upgrade. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of two of those. Uh, remove that. Uh, got the Pansia, Dispel Magic. Ray of Hope. And the Shadow Mounts. Uh, yeah. got quite a bit of stuff that's upgraded can technically do better if we do a couple of these uh, oh that's tough that's tough uh, a corrupted shadow boat yeah The pommel versus the charge. The charge is innate. And she gains speed. Okay. Yeah, we can keep going. I'm just technically doing this for shards, but... She doesn't need a third foresight. A mind blast. Nah. Eh. We're not going that way. Good, more shards. Alright, uh, Maluka. Want two of you not going away. One of you can go away, one of you stays. The bad auguries. I want the ones that apply more vision charges. We'll go the cheaper. She's pretty much full upgraded. Um, he's nearly full upgraded. We any of his stuff the the ha the twenty seven. I'm gonna want the other heat wave as well, eventually. Uh, cheaper. Because it means that we can actually do more things. Okay. Onward. We need to go here. No point in going there. Let's see what we can do. You are extraordinarily fast, Bree.
Immune to fire. Wow. An encyclopedia. Don't need the cauterizers yet. I mean, you were almost dead on turn one. Matter of fact, you are going to be dead turn one. Maluka a little bit extra here. And she can just finish the kill. Okay, that's a little strong. At least as of right now. Profane. Find a strange key with a jewel and a chest. Some peaceful sheep nearby suddenly go crazy because of the eerie aura and attack you. Okay. Crazy sheep. Bonk. More bonkage. Wow. Just get bonked and deleted. No. Nope. Nope. And nope. Um, the fact that we have Maluka with us is actually kind of nice. Hey, uh, Maluka. Take that. Three dark and a vision every turn. Uh, let's see... Don't need that. Can take HP and resistances. Sure. No point on any of that for her. So we'll just take a hundred bucks. Oh, this one first. Mm. Uh. No, that's exactly the opposite of what we're going for here. But I don't necessarily mind the extra points and... Because it's also going to lead to more points in the end because we'll have completed more corruptions. Uh, bonk you. And then bonk you. And, uh, hey, why don't we bonk you again? And then stab you from above. Immune to dark. Not immune to shadow damage, though.
You know, I state we shouldn't go through the volcano, but at the same time, I actually think we should. Because of the equipment from the last boss in the volcano. Yeah, you're definitely dead with 36 charges. I don't think that Tabula Ross is going to really apply much here. Maybe it will, because... Well, that depends. Which do you use first? Not the Tabula Rasa. Which means you die before you get the chance to use it. Rut row. Oh, that's that's extraordinarily tough. A corrupted mental shake I can deal with. It's a one cost, it disappears. I I'm kind of torn all the way across the board. He... Okay, we don't have a lot of AoE right now. So I think I'm gonna take the Emberstorm even over the Corrupted. Uh, you've reached a crossroads to the north. The path leads to an old watchtower. To the south, the path leads you to bridges that cross the river. The northern path appears to be blocked by a pigman with a brand on his arm, trying to recruit others for what appears to be a cult or sect. Oh, they're the pigs for the... Yeah. Nah. Let's attack him. Yeah, none of you are immune to dark this time. Bonk. Bonk again. Very nice. Goodbye. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, okay, this time, I mean, clearly of all the above, I'm gonna actually take the Corrupted Ignite. You don't need another Unholy Storm. Empty bridge, broken altar. This way I actually get an extra fight. Because I think I want to come all the way up to the bandit camp.
There was a time when a wandering wizard Sure. It's a 78% chance. Got it. Um, a corrupted slingshot. That. Yeah, because that's just what we're looking for. It's all garbage. So it's worth 200 bucks. Remove a card? Yeah, probably. Gotta hit me. Uh, another one immune to dark. Yeah, go after the harpy. Because she does things like that. Okay, get rid of your last evasion. Good, we hit the harpy. Maluka's next. Yeah, don't don't screw their pooch on that one. I mean, that was probably your mistake for not attacking. Bye, birdie. Bonk. Bonk some more. That weirdly enough will not kill you. Kills one card. And again, that is exactly the opposite of what we're going for. Remove the intimidate. Uh, 
Got the two upgraded charge batteries. And that gets rid of itself. So I think we're good there. Okay, do I want to go down to the moon ritual? come here to here for the extra stuff from this end or fight the werewolf hmm let's go moonstone equipment shop okay for one extra damage and 30 extra hit points bonk Rawr. bonk again Save the extra energy. I didn't tell you to purge my stuff. They would apply one. Yeah. That's going to do a little bit more. Twenty three, yeah. so have one upgraded curse of elements right 
Yes, you have the blue Curse of Elements. This is the yellow. Four nine four and purges. Doesn't purge, but more charges. Okay. You currently do not have anything that has Fortify on it. So that you actually save your... That's not bad. Yeah, you can take that. I mean, there's definitely better out there, but might as well pick it up so she can at least do a little bit more damage and we're leveled. Uh, charges. Plus three charges. So on the high end, that could apply 15 extra charges. So 45 extra charges of burn. On the very high end. Or 24. But he takes 33% less fire damage. Hellflame. Uh, skillful. I'm guessing with this one, dark charges apply. So if she has extra dark charges, it would apply more to the highest HP monster. Do, 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 do. Where is it? There it is. Apparently not. Uh. Okay, let's convince her. I haven't seen this one from her yet. 240 bucks? Okay. And a fiery wand. Corrupted Fiery Wand. <sighs> Which is still worse than the Burning Orb. She's not really doing any burn at all. So, I guess it's just 240 bucks. A heal. No. But I'll still do it for the upgrade altar. Like, again, the points at the end for the number of corrupted, corruptions complete. 
um, essentially affects the amount that you get for the next chest. Smack. I mean, she's got a pretty big spiky club to bonk people with. Uh, evasion charges, huh? We're gonna start with that stuff already. Uh, let's start burning some of those. Can't evade that, though. just removes you. Okay, your evasion's gone. Okay, he's gonna have a little bit of energy to work with. Of course you do. Luca. gonna say we already have two searing touches neither one of them are upgraded though that's upgraded um i will take the corrupted unstable power spiky shield be cheaper Suffer eight damage via X. Apply eight, you suffer eight. Go one of each. And I am okay with that being gotten rid of. And we're going to do it that way first. Maluka just has the Dispel, the Librarian, and the Electric Discharge, the One Scroll. And all of hers are too expensive. This one, there was one that I could. Yeah, the Electric Discharge. Yes. 
Alright, and we got the moonstone. Because we can. Bonk. Get spiky. Encyclopedia. I think uh, this will be uh, the last fight. Um, we'll uh, continue with uh, Act 2, 3, and 4 next time. Um, hopefully we can actually get Zek unlocked with this one. Um, so if you are still here um, joining us on Twitch, please uh, consider leaving us a follow and... Um, if you're watching afterwards on YouTube, uh, would appreciate a subscribe and hitting the bell icon to get notified when either I or new content goes live. Um, and, um, follow me on, uh, either or both Twitter and Discord. Um, links are in the description below. I post any... Updates, changes, uh, reminders to the streams in both. Um, as well as there is a link to the opposite in the um, description below as well. If you're on YouTube, we'd love to see you on uh, live on Twitch. And um, if you're here on Twitch, um, I post all of the VODs uh, on the YouTubes, so if you ever miss a stream and you want to catch up, you're more than welcome to. Dude, you're not living much longer. Like, the encyclopedia, because I can. Eat the ignite. Oh, you go next. Okay. <laughs> now you're really dead. Bye. That's an early upgraded Colossal Blow. Uh, no, not on you. We'll have to upgrade it, but did you, do you already have a replenishment? You do. So, never mind on the replenishment. No. And... No. Hope in the chest. You get Shield of Thorns. For right now, you can take Homer's Branch. Yeah, we'll give up the 10% for the corrupted uh, Yggdrasil root.
and a hundred bucks and which should we do first next time I'm thinking volcano and then blue so we can get all of our fire gear that we want for fighting in the blue yeah rune master in an uncommon uncommon there So we can go Colosseum, Black Forge, come around to be able to get the Lava Overflow. Yeah, I like that. All right, so we'll come in here. I'm not going to touch anything. What we got is what we got right now. Now, let's just take a peek. Peek. The all-seeing amulet, but it's not the dog. Oh. All right. Well, we'll we'll when we come back, we'll take a look at that. Um, so next stream will be Friday um, at uh, ten o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Um, and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys all next time. Have a good one. Thank you for the follow, Valen. <laughs> Do it right after I mute the mic. Thank you, thank you, thank you.